Hey besties, if you like to learn how I achieve this not less boss braids with corn roll in front and transition over to all single braids, you would like to stick around. Again, the video is a little lengthy. Again, we transition to this beautiful boha style. So the new things you're going to need is your shine and jam, your mousse, okay? The coily hair for the boha style, okay? And also your braiding hair, the chief pilot of today. Okay, your braiding hair, I use this for a stretch. It's easier to do that. And again, your comb. With no wasting time, let's dive right into it. So here I already started off camera. Okay, now I'm going to section another um, or part another section, okay, that I will be working with, and then I will begin braiding. So stick around while I part the hair, smooth the hair, the lines before we begin braiding. All right, so let me tell you how we end up with this three in one hairstyles in this video, okay? So on a Sunday night, I decided to I decided to braid my hair, okay? And I wanted um not less braid, okay? I wanted to like really do it by myself, okay? I've done it on this channel on on my sister, and I've you know I've had the not less braid. Don't get me wrong, okay? I've had not less braid, but someone did it for me. And uh, I was like, I want to do it by myself, okay? I mean, I can do this. I've seen other people do it. I said, I can do this. So I embark on that journey, that fateful Sunday night, very late, 6, six o'clock or thereabouts at night. I decided, but I didn't know how, I, like in my head, I didn't know how I was going to finish that hair that night. But anyways, I continued, you know, I started braiding hair. And... Uh, Along the line, I finished the hair and I got to go to work the next day. That was how we transitioned from one to another. Well, here now I'm just going to section a little pieces of hair, okay, that I will begin braiding with, okay? So I always apply a little um, shine and jam around the base of my, of the pieces of hair that I want to start with. Now this is the braiding hair that I'm using and I, I will always take out three pieces or three strands of uh, braiding hair, okay? I normally try to stick around three or four strands, okay? Not too long. And that was exactly what I did here. First, you want to start braiding your natural hair, braid it like you're doing a corn roll. Um, and then you add hair, okay? So you start with braiding your cell, your natural hair first, then add your hair, okay? The extension. So this is me adding the second one, okay? And then of course, yeah. So I always um, leave out one end of the braiding hair, braid the other one twice, then you know, add this the one that I left off and then braid it again before adding um another extension. Okay. So that's has always been how I do my not less braids. And I think I've done it also on my kids. Okay, my girls I've done the not less braid on them as well. And I'm gonna include those two videos up here somewhere, okay? And also in the description below. So again, this was how we started and this hairstyle, I wasn't going to braid them all the way because I wanted uh, coily ends, okay? So I was I was ready to at least pass my natural hair a little bit, then I will secure it by tying it at least three times or by knotting it, whatever the word is, three times before I will leave it because again we are going to end up with um, a coily end all right so again I continue doing the same thing okay section a piece of hair applying a little bit of um, a shine and jam or any braiding hair gel that you have but just a little bit okay um so I've, I think the, the other one I did on my sister I didn't use any 
uh gel at all yes i just put it i just did it that way so but this one i added some okay so i always use three pieces like i told you okay because again it should come with the same length start with your natural hair braid it three times okay cross your hands three times and then on the third one you add your braiding hair braid that one okay so we add one see that and then add and braid again before you add another one okay i always braid it twice see then braid one two then add that one braid one two and keep braid so this is the last one i just keep braiding to the end of where i want to secure it okay or to the end of my natural hair that's how i braid it but again doing not less braid is easy okay so you have got to figure out how to do it you know the best way it will work for you everyone has a, a way of things working for them okay thousands of hundred and hundred of people can do the same thing okay but each one of them is going to be unique so that's just the difference okay yours is going to be unique and from another another person's own is going to be unique from yours okay but we all will achieve the same result again depending on who you are you know i mean you just got to figure out what works for you in life even at work too that's the same thing you know we all don't work the same way right? We all don't achieve our result the same way. We all have a way of doing things a way that is more convenient and better, getting better results. So that's one thing you have to figure out, you know, on how to do that. Okay. But again, if you're ever thinking of learning how to do knotless braids, I tell you that this video is going to help out. I've also done a short uh, video of course on how to do it as well so this is going to help you and I, I promise you you'll be able to do it again but you have to pack your patience and keep practicing it might not come out right the first time but never give up okay that's me i did not give up i was like i, I will stick i will like see to the end of this okay i used two mirrors again i encourage you to do the same okay use two mirrors um to braid your hair okay it makes it a little more it's easier but again it's not easy all right but I, I i mean but i encourage you to give it a try so again we continue to braid uh hair i continue to braid the hair and here it is when i decided to excuse me my throat i don't know <clears throat> excuse me i decided to go for cornrow okay I mean, but because we got to go to work the next day. So I was like, you know what? We're just changing plans. Let's go and do cornrows because guess what? Cornrows are is much faster because guess what? You're not breaking that. See this section? You're not breaking it into single, single, okay, to braid it. That's, that is what takes time, okay? So you're braiding all the same at the same time. So I just decided to go ahead and get that in. And of course, I'm doing feeding as well on this uh corn roll again like i said it's taking me practice to do this okay i mean i am not a pro professional when it comes to braiding but i tell myself or say that i am trying i'm doing my best okay i am trying because it's all for the kids because i want them to look good so i just gotta keep trying i just gotta keep doing it okay so if you have girls and you really and you're interested in learning how to do hair, you have just to go get started first. Because if you keep <laughs> procrastinating it and saying, I will, I will, it never happens, okay? You have got to start now, okay? It's never too late. Start now to practice on their hair, use their hair. If you don't want to use their hair, you can go get you a mannequin head with, you know, hair on it. I start like that way too, okay? But I started doing mine on my kid's hair, okay? When she turned, almost she was almost two. That was when I started um, braiding her hair myself, okay? But I had a friend who gave me as a gift to do her hair up until she turns 18. I loved it, I appreciated it, but hey, when she moved, I was like, no way, I'm going to drive for 30, uh, not 30 minutes, that is a fair. But up to an hour to go to the her nest uh place, no, just to do her. I don't I didn't have that much time because it's too much around me. As a parent, you're working and so many other things. No. 
I told myself, I'm just going to learn how to do it. Okay. And that was how I started braiding it when she was still little. Okay. However, it comes up, <laughs> we just braid it and keep moving. So I encourage you to start when they are little. Okay. It will help you to build your confidence. It will help you to, you know, get your practice in before they grow up and all that stuff. At least it gets neater and cleaner by the day. Okay. But again, it takes practice to get it done. That's what I can tell you. So I encourage you to do that. Okay. So I'll continue to uh, braid the hair and then, uh, you know, I will come back again, but it, this again is simple explanatory. It's self-explanatory. You can do this cornrow feeding as well if you love it. Okay. I can't remember how many, I lost count of how many I used, um, but I know it's more than four or five on each, depending on the length of the natural hair that I use on this. I mean, the feed, the hair that I feed in, okay, is more than five on each one. So it all depends on the length of the natural hair. But again, you can always do it, all right? You can pause this video, rewind it, and do what you got to do. And of course, I'm just going to roll this to get my coils. I'm going to wrap it around this flesh rod so that we can achieve it. And I make sure that I go the same direction when rolling it, okay? Yes, I make sure I go the same direction and then lock the end. All right, one thing I must tell you when you're unraveling this or when you're taking down the flesh rod, make sure you are also taking it down the same direction that you put it in, okay? If you start going the opposite route, you're going to mess up the course, right? Make sure you're going the same direction that you put it in. Take it down the same way, okay? So again, that's just FYI because the course will mess up if you go the opposite direction. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is the look, but again, I was hiding one of the hair that refused to get cords. So I ended up dipping it again in hot water the next day because I was tired. So this is the final look. They all came out good in uniform, and I was glad I did. Now this is the next section where I had to take it down the cornrows to achieve what my initial goal was. Okay, which was the not less braids, all single braids, all through, okay? And I wanted a full head. And that is what I'm doing here, okay? And of course, we are almost done here. Tired and girl. But I, I mean, I'm proud of myself for even trying and for continuing to even try to achieve what I, you know, initially thought of doing, which is all not less buzz braids. I must pat myself at the back because, again, it's not easy. To do your head, not even to talk of after the con roll and you decide to take it down again and you go back and do it again. Oh my God, it's not easy, okay? I must tell you that. Don't ever think it's easy, okay? But you have to have a lot of patience, okay? And practice. And of course, don't forget to have two mirrors. It's very important, okay, to have two mirrors again. Your parts are not going to be perfect. Your parts are not going to be clean at the first time. But girl, you should be proud of whatever result you get, okay? Because you tried, you did your best, okay? So, um, but you keep trying, keep improving. That is just how life is, okay? Even at work, even in business, anything at all, you keep trying, keep uh, trying different ways to improve yourself, all that good stuff, okay? So again, never give up. I encourage every one of you. They are interested in learning how to do their hair or their baby girl's hair or, you know, a niece's hair or anything to start now. Now is the time. It's never too late. OK, so get 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 started and uh, be happy. Enjoy your breeding. All right. So we're doing the same thing, trying to get everything, of course, the same uh, direction, you know, folding it or rolling it 
the same direction and trying to get uniform cost. So I hope you enjoyed this video thus far. Okay. And if you have, we want to say thank you so very much for having been here. Thank you for our new and returning uh, subscribers. May God continue to bless you. And if there's a need in your life, I pray that God will meet it now and now in the name of Jesus. Amen. So enjoy your day. And again, until next time, stay fabulous and stay blessed. Okay. We love you guys. Have a fabulous and wonderful time. Until our next video. Bye bye for now. Love you guys. Wonder what am I doing here again? I just went back in and did um, add course okay to achieve a bohar style. That's simple as that, okay? Just doing the crochet method, just crochet in the coil here, and I was done. I mean, if you don't know how to fit it in the course, you might as well do this and that keep you know, save your time and keep going. You still get the style that you want, okay? All right, again, thank you guys. I love you all. Mm -hmm. Until next time, stay blessed and stay fabulous. God bless you. Take care. Bye-bye. Everybody's saying that I lost my mind. But I never ever given up this time. Because everybody knows that I've been on the grind. But I never ever given up this time. Up this time. Up this time. Up So I would love to know which of the styles that we have here, which one is your favorite? Which one are you? Are you the nutless buzz braid only? Or are you the bohar style girl? Which one? Are you the cornrow in front style girl? Please, I would like to know. So please leave us a comment in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you. Again, I enjoy doing this video. All of the three hairstyles came out good and perfect so i enjoy rocking them again i hope you enjoy doing yours as well thank you